Hi Capricorns, Virgos, and Pisceans. These are your messages uh, around the Leo new moon that we had yesterday. I hope the energy is treating everyone well. It feels like a brand new beginning for the Lunatics Collective, at least in general. Uh, probably the collective in general, right? Um, the only thing I want to say to you before we get started is um, thank you so much for all of your support to Lunatics Tarot, uh, for liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, uh, ordering, and donating as well. The information on um, donating and all of the information and links to order a private personal reading with me can all be found down below in the description box if you are interested. And my name is Aze. With that, I think we will go ahead and get started with Capricorns first, um, and then uh, Virgos, and then Pisces. All of the timestamps should be right down below for you as well in both the uh, comment section and the uh, description of the video. So Capricorns. Capricorns, how's the energy of the Leo new moon that ended July 2019 for us? How is it treating you? What do you need to hear? Wow, the world card is your first card out. So I take it um, in some sense, Capricorns have graduated to a new level um, and, and there's much to celebrate for you. The five of fire shows up reversed. Um, so I think that some ego drama has has cleared away um, maybe some petty arguments and fights uh, that were surrounding you have sort of cleared away with this new moon um, some challenges have been met and now you have graduated to this this next level where there's a little more peace you have another major arcana card in your near future um, it's labeled awakening in this deck it is the judgment card in more traditional tarot decks capricorns it always brings through um an aquarian like energy for me in this deck since it's a uh, a, a peacock pictured here and i will give you a look at all of these cards capricorns <clears throat> as we move through the reading i just want to get a couple more cards out for you and there they are. Beautiful reading, Capricorns. The world card, five of fire reversed, awakening or the judgment card, the ace of water and the two of fire. So this, this is amounting to a new emotional beginning for you. This is what you're headed toward ultimately as a result of this energy from the new moon in Leo. Uh, the, the ace of shells in this deck, the ace of chalices, cups, water, um, perhaps a new love, perhaps an opportunity to share openly with, with someone or others in general comfort and prosperity showing up on the bottom of the deck as part of the queen of crystals or the queen, queen of um, earth, pentacles, coins, energy here for you. Capricorns, at this time, your decisions about your choice of direction in your life as you are now well aware that you have the ability to uh, manifest whatever it is that you desire. Those, those choices are extremely powerful. They hold powerful p potential. Those choices are rippling out to affect your future, perhaps the rest of your life for some of you. Yeah, for some of you, the rest of your life. I, I repeat that phrase a, a often when I see the two of fire and I just got a ton of physical confirmation coming through for you as I said that last part of it. So for some of you, these are these are uh, lifelong ripple effects happening now. And, and 
yes, we always have free will. Our choices are always powerful. We always have powerful potential because we always have the potential to grab a hold of the reins of that free will, but we do not use it as much as often as a lot of people would like to think that we do. We are influenced by our past. We are influenced by others' free wills, um, mostly by uh, things that we pick up on subconsciously, right? Um, our subconscious is is 90% of our mind, I'm pretty sure. And so we are processing tons of information subconsciously, hearing what he or she said, hearing what the television said, um, uh, thinking still about what we dreamt last night or, or affected still by something that we are suppressing that happened to us five or 10 years ago. Um, our subconscious is doing a lot of work. And so a lot of times people think they're consciously using their free will and making decisions and they're really influenced by outside forces. Uh, but I, I do believe that the, the, uh, community, the collective of people that gravitate toward this type of self-development work um, are, are aware of that more than, than others and, and um, take a hold of those reins of their free will more often than others. That said, um, this is one of those times for you, Capricorn, where you, you are... Uh, you are making these choices. Um, it, it is your free will and control. That is why this shows up to tell you how powerful that potential is, how powerful those choices are. Insight and focus are noted, are the key words noted on this particular depiction of the Two of Fire. This is the Spirit Song Tarot deck by Paulina Cassidy. If you're interested, uh, information on the decks I use, including this one, all down below in the description as well. Um, so, you know, I think you are already aware of that, but that is your advice card to uh, keep that in mind. Continue to be very mindful of that, Capricorns, as, as you choose which direction you're going to focus on. And I think as you take the first step in the direction that you want to go, I feel like um, you've, you've <clears throat> just come to the realization that a lot of you, that you can manifest whatever you want or have come to a new uh, realization about how to manifest whatever you want, right? One or the other. Um, and you're given this space now to do it in. Perhaps you knew you could or you knew how to before, but um, you couldn't focus or you couldn't even find the time to figure out how to do that for yourself because you had a lot of petty ego drama surrounding you in your home, at work, your friend groups, you know, uh, 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 it's going to be specifically different for each uh, individual Capricorn. But that, as I said, has cleared away. I see some petty arguments, some petty ego drama fading, making peace with those individuals or perhaps just parting, way, parting ways uh, with them for, for some of you. And in the near future, um, forgiveness is going to be key. Awakening is noted here uh, with the words renewal and enlightenment. Um, this is this might be a resurrection of you, of sorts, uh, feeling like you're coming to life again now that all of this ego drama has cleared away from you. Maybe it was your own ego drama, but that card to me also speaks of forgiveness for self and for others. Uh, forgiveness is, is, a, is a magical moment that can absolutely uh, catalyst a renewal. Um, and it takes an enlightened mind to, to uh, reach that space and reach it quickly. Of uh, forgiveness for self and others. Um, that is, is one of the choices that you have. That is one of the choices that you have, Capricorns, that is going to ripple into the future. To forgive yourself for, for your role in that ego drama. To forgive whomever else was in that ego drama, drama situation for you. Now that it has cleared away, uh, you can hold on to the grudge. But I, um, you, you, it, it appears that in the near future, you are on path to choose forgiveness. And of course, you know the renewal and enlightenment that we're talking about going hand in hand with it. Um, that is your choice. It is your choice to see uh, how that um, propels you forward, whereas holding the grudge um, is only going to, to stifle your potential. 
It is your choice to choose to love others again. Now, maybe we're talking about a romantic partner, but of course, as always, we could be talking about friendships, family members, etc. It is your choice to uh, close off because that ego drama has hurt you or to choose to openly share and have a new emotional beginning with either the same individuals or new people. Even though it's scary to think that new people or the same people even could hurt you again, that the drama could come back, um, whatever, whatever the effects of that um, warring situation, that feuding situation were, um, it's scary, but you are on path to choose forgiveness and to choose a new emotional beginning, a renewed love with someone or brand new love with, with other people, with a different person or, or other people, right? Um, and see the, that choice uh, directly affects your comfort and prosperity, Capricorns. Um, that's why that those choices are rippling, affecting into the into your future and affecting your future um, in such in such a powerful way. Your reading, uh, Capricorns, is actually quite similar to Scorpios. Of the reading that came just before yours that I did last last night um, in the sense that you are on course the, the reading is showing that you are on you are on a beneficial um, for lack of a better word correct course you are on course to meet your full potential um, this, so the reading is just sort of saying don't stop being mindful of the fact that your choices have such powerful potential at this time and that they are rippling into your future. Whether you see exactly how the two directly connect and affect one another or not, uh, what the reading is saying is that by choosing to forgive yourself and or others, um, and for most of you, I think it's yourself and others, by, by uh, granting all the necessary forgiveness, um, you're making space in your life to either, as I said, renew those emotional connections that you have or to um, meet brand new emotional beginnings, to have new love of some type with, with others or renewed love with the same energies that you're um, mending a feud with. Choosing to do that and choosing that new emotional beginning is the first step forward towards securing your comfort and prosperity again. Um, and probably for those of you with families, uh, with a home to manage, um, you know, securing that home and that family's wealth and security as well. That is the first step toward, forward towards that type of comfort and security. And, and without that forgiveness, it's, it's like it's saying that you don't then have space in your life or, or room in your mind, peace of mind enough to, to take the first step. Again, even if you don't see how the two directly connect, choosing this forgiveness is what is giving you a new beginning and allowing you then to focus on your future, the first step toward what you're trying to manifest next, um, securing your um, financial realm, your material realm, mastering it in a sense, or mastering it to new levels that you have not prior to this. Some of you may be um, interacting closely with a Capricorn, another Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus caps at this time. And that may be why we see the, the queen of crystals coming through. So perhaps that's who you've been feuding with that you are now moving toward, um, a, a renewal with, or again, you could have feuded with this person to the point where things are finished. You're forgiving you both so that you can take the step toward a new love. You see, any way you slice it, forgiveness needs to be found and you are on your way there. Um, in order to get you where you're going next, uh, it will hold you up in ways that you may not be able to understand if you choose 
uh, if you choose the opposite direction, but I just, I don't see that happening. I see you on course. Here you are able to manifest anything your heart desires, right? And so why would you desire for these feuds to continue? You don't, and so they're ending. Here you are choosing that forgiveness because you can. And again, why would you choose anything else? Why would you choose to, to hold on to the grudge, to the burden? Here's your advice to go ahead and take that first step forward, to focus on your future, to keep in mind how powerful um, your choices and potential are at this time. And then here is the new emotional beginning, either in brand new or renewed love that you are granted as a reward. And if it's not about um, love with friends, family, or a partner, then um, it's, it's talking about a new emotional beginning in terms of being uh, allotted the opportunity to share openly with someone or other people. So maybe in doing a work that you love to do, uh, get, being given the opportunity to focus on, on sharing openly with, with others in that, in that work you're passionate about. So Capricorns, it looks gorgeous. Uh, I understand why your reading was at the end. I actually just randomly pulled names, which I normally do now, uh, to choose the order. And it makes sense that your reading is, it, it turned into a post new moon reading because um, it, honestly, it doesn't look like a, a lot of you are, as I said, you're, you're on course to meet your full potential, to continue to meet your full potential right now. Uh, at least that's the message coming through on my table today. So so it seems, I don't want to say you didn't need the reading, but it, it seems like, um, uh, it seems like you have it under control, I guess. And, and it's, and that's not to say that, that, you know, that forgiveness is easy for anyone to find. Um, but, but I, I think the key for you is to keep in mind that, um, you do need to find forgiveness for both yourself and the other party or parties involved um, if you haven't, right? I'm not saying that you all need your own forgiveness, but if you do, then you have to find that as well, right? So uh, with that, Capricorns, I do hope that the needed insight was able to reach you there. Um, I already told you about private readings at the beginning of the video. Um, so I just, I hope you continue to make wise choices for yourselves moving forward. And I love you and I will have an August reading posted for you very soon. Okay. Virgos. Virgos. How is the energy of the new moon in Leo treating you, Virgos? I suspect some of you are seeing victories at this time. Chariot card wanted to come through for us. And I honestly, Virgos, I will be surprised if this is a reading that... Um, I'll be surprised if this is a reading that says that you're you're in need of a lot of assistance at this time uh, because of what just came through for Capricorns. I'm feeling like these last three readings are uh, turned out to be the last readings and and somewhat late because uh, you all are benefiting from the Leo new moon energy as is. Uh, so your your messages aren't quite as as urgent almost. And I did see that victory come through for you already. We are using the um, Paulina Cassidy uh, Spirit Song Tarot deck today. If you are interested in that deck or any of the decks that I use in Lunatics Tarot readings, Virgos, just scroll down to the description box below where you can find information on all of those. The Four of, of Fire. Four of Wands, Rods, speaking about a happy, comfortable, peaceful, inviting home and or family life, a, a secure foundation in your life, crossed with the King of Crystals in this deck, the King of Earth, the King of Pentacles coins, uh, it is also upright. Heading toward the Three of Water, the Three of Shells <clears throat> in the near future. 
the three of, of chalices or cups. So it looks like you are enjoying a, a blissful environment. Perhaps it's it's your, I say your home and or family life. When I say home, I could mean your actual house or, or your community in general. Community is noted on this particular depiction of the four of uh, fire. And you're crossed with, um, you're crossed with this king of earth who, who manages that type of home, family life, community, better than than anyone in the deck uh, as far as a masculine energy energy besides perhaps the emperor beautiful beautiful all upright gorgeous cards as i as i suspected virgos um so I, i'm finding you in a very happy uh, happy healthy peaceful playful loving energetic passionate secure place <laughs> and uh, it's gorgeous. You do, I think, have a lot going on. Your life is full in many senses, right? Full of love, full of activity, full of things to secure and manage, um, commitments uh, to um, stay true to, right? And, and you're doing it. <laughs> you're doing it and you're enjoying. Wow. <laughs> you're doing it and you're enjoying doing it, Virgos. You are managing all that's on your plate. And it, and it is, as I said, making your life very full. Now. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. I'm, I'm starting to dig down through the deck and I'm getting ahead of myself. We will get to that. Um, so as I said, I see you in this secure, comfortable, happy, peaceful environment, again, in your home and or family life, maybe your community, uh, comfort and community being the words that are noted here. You're just enjoying your, your security, enjoying this peaceful, uh, happy home life. And as I said, managing it um, as best as you ever have, right? Managing it to the best of your ability and, and really um, succeeding in that. Uh, it's courage and commitment are noted here in this depiction of the, the King of Earth. Uh, this shows you being the master of your materi material realm. Honestly, these cards really go hand in hand together. Um, it seems that two energies have come together, uh, two or more energies have come together to stabilize and secure your, your home and or family life. So perhaps you are this king of earth, Virgos, or perhaps you are interacting closely with another Virgo, a Capricorn or a Taurian energy um, who is partnering you or, or, or a, a roommate, a friend, a family member um, who is securing that, that material realm of yours with you, securing that home environment and the happiness of it, the, the peacefulness of it with you. It looks like your finances are in order, your, your inflow and outflow of resources are in order, your relationships, the tangible relationships uh, that you, the people you interact with on a daily basis, your work life, all of this is in order. Um, and as I said, coming together with at least one other energy and really securing your home life. In the near future, you're given the opportunity to play and celebrate with those closest to you with with energies that you love to spend time with to catch up with to um, entertain to play with um, to have fun with uh, you may be even uh, in vibing as you celebrate when we see the three of water here uh, there's a cause for celebration this secured uh, home and or family life is cause enough for celebration maybe you're celebrating uh, the, the, the two or more energies coming together, um, as we said, that might be stabilizing that environment. Your advice card is the two of shells. The second two, two, two may be particularly significant for you around this time, Virgos. Um, that might be an additional message for you if you're, if you're interested in looking into what that could mean for you. 
it's really speaking to me of, again, stabilizing, securing, balancing. Um, and your advice to lean into this union, lean into uh, celebrating this sense of harmony that you have helped to create. Uh, enjoy it. Be loyal to that partnership, to this home, to that stability. Enjoy it. Be loyal to it. Celebrate it celebrate it celebrate it and I see you doing that it's not really advice because I see you already on path to do that here in the near future perhaps some of you are considering deepening a commitment with someone who you know can add to or already is adding to the the security of your your happy home and or family life some of you do need this note of courage uh, that we see in the card crossing you because you are celebrating, you are surrounded by loving energies, you are happy with your home and family life, but you are a little fearful about securing a bond with, with another energy. And, and it feels like it is a loving partnership, but again, that can be family or friends as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be a lover. For a lot of you, I'm sure that it is. Um, you're just a little fearful of maybe even just fearful of losing this person, committing too deeply to them and then and then losing them, right? That's a reality for, for all of us, for anyone who chooses to enter a relationship. That, that fear being the other side of the coin of, of love. Um, some of, so some of you are sort of um, back and forth even on, on um, whether or not you'd like to deepen that commitment and secure that bond. It looks, by all indications on this table, like you absolutely should, and it is literally your advice card to lean into that union, that harmony. Um, and I would obviously would not advise ever for you to invite someone into a comfortable, happy, stable, peaceful um, uh, home and, and or family life who could not add to the security, who could not help you maintain that security, that balance, that stability. But again, I think this person that we're talking about either already is part of that, that security for you or is someone who you can undoubtedly see could absolutely add to it. And so the only hold up, the only resistance or hesitation is really some type of fear. Uh, but you are looking straight at that union Virgos and you are on course to take this advice um, there's some fear like I said it's the other side of the coin of love so it's going to be present there's always the possibility you could lose someone right um, and some of you I'm sensing already have and that was what makes that fear even that much more potent for you uh, but you're looking past it and 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 in the near future this playfulness this celebration with with those who, who truly understand you and love you, um, that, 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 uh, joy, that bliss, that high vibration energy is going to move you right through and, and past and out of that, that, that little bit of fear that is making you hesitate and is the only reason why you even need the advice card that yes, this union is harmonious and this, this bond should be, um, deepened, secured, committed to. Now, ultimately, in the more distant future, we are looking at the King of Wands, noted as optimism and innovation specifically. Uh, so this is uh, perhaps representing a fire sign that you are moving toward. Maybe it is a Sag, Leo, or Aries who you are considering committing to rather than the, the Earth sign. It's going to be slightly different for each Virgo. And if so, I, I you know I see if, if it, especially if it is a fire sign, Virgos, I see that union uh, coming together in the near future and seamlessly. I say um, uh, no later than moving through August at this point. I see I see that union happening with this with this fiery individuals. For others of you, this secure. Um, again, happy, comfortable home and/or family life is giving you the opportunity 
uh, to focus on uh, passions and creations of yours that are outside of the home, that are outside of this union that you are advised to lean into um, because you have uh, so much playfulness and um, encouragement and support and stability and just love around you and you feel at such peace in both your environment and in your significant relationships that you feel the confidence uh, and the drive to um, maybe start your own business, uh, maybe start sharing your own creative artworks, to start engaging in activities that you're very passionate about that may even lead you to a place of being an entrepreneur of sorts for whatever your passions are, through whatever your passions are. Um, it's certainly giving you the courage to be uh, more optimistic, more innovative, be more social. Some of you, it's less about a business and more about being more social and networking, networking. It's giving you the courage then to, to network with a lot of people. So maybe that's socially or maybe that's um, in your career, in your work life, or maybe both. Maybe they, they flow together and they combine, right? Um, and often that, that is what happens. You network socially and then it ends up benefiting your career or, or vice versa, right? So in any, um, in either case, it's this, this love, this bond, these, these supporting energies, this time to play, this environment that you can play in, um, and your own, uh, you know, sense of finding courage to delve into those relationships and really enjoy them to the fullest, uh, even though they, they could leave you at some point, right? Uh, all of that is culminating in, as I said, the, the optimism and the confidence that you need to invest in what you're passionate about, whether that is making new friends and networking and being more social or, or um, networking in, in a sense of sharing your passions with the world and, as I said, becoming an entrepreneur of some kind. So that is absolutely gorgeous. The only other note that I see um, below the two of crystals here. Uh, you are certainly finding uh, balance in your environment and, as I said, able to juggle all of these relationships, all of your commitments, everything that is making your, so, your life so full uh, very well, very well. Um, if you are questioning, if, asterisk, if you are questioning um, and or interacting closely with a Libra, energy that is in your mind as you come to this reading there is some some truth and clarity I feel is about to come to light regarding this Libra or your connection with them and it's not necessarily a negative thing it's a, the tower card here but this can be a breakthrough and we certainly see a breakthrough leading to truth and clarity i do feel that the that the sign libra is going to be significant in that breakthrough and clarity for some of you it may be a truth about a libra it may just be a truth and a breakthrough involving a libra that is is just beneath the surface here so i feel like that is what's coming next for you so that may even be uh toward the end of august or beyond it virgos uh, but with that, I will leave it in your very capable hands from there. It looks like um, you need only to enjoy the, the um, space that you're in, the mental and emotional space that you're in, as well as the physical space. And it doesn't look like anything besides you could stop you from doing that, Virgos. And as I said, you look like you're very much on course to do just that, to, to enjoy uh, your present bliss. And I absolutely would squeeze every last drop of that juice if I were you. It looks, it looks beautiful. I'm very happy for you, Virgos. So I hope the needed insight reached you if you needed any there. Uh, thank you again for all of your support. I already told you about private readings. Virgos, I hope that you continue to make very wise choices for yourself as you move forward. And I love you and I will post uh, an August reading for you very soon. Okay. Last but certainly not least, Pisces. Pisces, this is your reading for the new moon in Leo that we had yesterday that ended uh, July 2019 for us. What do we have coming through for Pisceans at this time? 
What are the messages for Pisceans at the new moon in Leo? What do you need to know? What will it help you to hear? Pisces, we are using the Spirit Song Tarot deck today by Paulina Cassidy. If you are interested in this deck or any of the decks that I use in Lunatics Tarot readings, uh, just scroll down to the description box below where you can find uh, all of that information. First card you have out is the Knight of Air. It's the Knight of Feathers in this deck, the Knight of Swords in more traditional decks, noted as action and focus in this particular depiction. It is showing up in the reverse. Possibly speaking of a speaking to a lack of, of action and focus for you at this time, Pisces. And you are crossed with the five of water, the five of cups, chalices, or uh, shells in this deck. It's it's a time of change and readjustment for you. And so, of course, you are, are, are lacking some action and focus at this time. You may even be in mourning over something at this time. Uh, and and it's, it, it's trapping you in your own mind in the near future, Pisceans. I'm very surprised. I'm very surprised at your reading. Um, your advice card is the Hermit card, noted as contemplation and wisdom. And I think you're naturally going to gravitate toward that place, toward solitude, toward meditation, toward looking to your inner wisdom, Pisceans, because, beautiful, because um, in the near future, this eight of air energy is showing up, um, noted as courage and, and solutions. So you are going to be seeking solutions to a situation that you, you're very well aware is, is uncomfortable for you. Uh, you don't want to stay in this time of mourning any longer. Um, I think you, I think you've been there too long. I really, I think you've been there too long. You may even be in a space of miscommunicating with a lot of people at this time, or, or at least um, someone very significant to you, Pisces, um, with the Knight of Air in reverse here. You might be inadvertently disrespectful to others because you are in this space of, as I said, mourning, readjustment. And I think, you know, you're really, you're finding hope. I do, I do believe that you are finding hope, um, as that is, is specifically noted on this depiction here um, and, and I, I think you're driven to this place because you need to find that hope on your own Pisces and you are doing so your card the moon card is showing up on the bottom of the deck noted as imagination and perception which sounds so much like you Pisces Yeah, this, and this is just work that you need to do on your own. Um, you are moving toward a calmer mental and emotional space uh, as a result of finding this hope for yourself, being the light for yourself during this readjustment period. Um, and I, I, you know, I think um, realizing your own wisdom. This moon card on the bottom of the deck is really telling me that this is a becoming who you are, you self-actualizing, you realizing who you, who you are, who you always have been, and, and letting that uh, more of that person shine through. Often, the moon is also saying that all is not what it seems, um, and, and that is true in the sense that um, if you are despairing, if this period of readjustment feels hopeless to you, then of course, all is not what it seems. As I said, it's just the fact that you're trapped in your own mind. You are the only one who can release you from that. And so you have to be the light. You have to be what gives you hope. Um, because in the near future, as I said, you are seeking solutions. But again, you're the only one who can come up with those for you. Because the Eight of Swords is an energy where you are trapped by your own self 
uh, imposed limiting beliefs, Pisces. Some of you are feeling like you can't take action for some reason, and maybe it is this, this mourning period, whatever, whomever you are mourning. Um, you can't find focus. You can't take action. Uh, you may be, as I said, short with other people who don't even deserve it because you're in this um, low, low place. You, you, you're, you're keeping yourself trapped there. I'm not exactly sure what the self-limiting beliefs are about, Let's get one clarification card on that. Forgiveness, Pisces. Forgiveness. And I was just talking about this with, I, I think it was Capricorns. Uh, so perhaps some of you are... are, uh, are dealing with a Capricorn or interacting with a Capricorn or have, have a Capricorn energy involved here, whether it's someone close to you or in your own chart. Yeah, with the, with the devil card showing up as well, a lot of you do have a Capricorn energy involved here uh, or, or significant Capricorn energy of your own that you're also identifying with at this time. While others of you, you know, have uh, some shadowy aspects that need to be faced, need to be addressed, whether we're talking about your own uh, shadow side or someone close to you. Um, yeah, it, it looks like... Um, you need to, your advice is to go within to, to as I said, you're, you're about to realize your own wisdom, Pisces. Uh, you're becoming more of yourself because you're giving yourself credit for having the answers within, as I I'm, suspect a lot of people have been telling you for a while. Um, and so you're advised to, to contemplate on your own inner wisdom, to spend time in solitude and meditation, to find that wisdom. And I think that that is the advice because you're trying to find forgiveness for someone. And I really am sensing that it's for yourself, Pisces, but it could be for you. It could be for someone close to you who has wronged you. Um, it could be from the distant past. It could be recent. Um, the note that I gave Capricorns, and it's true for you as well, you need to find, to move forward from this place, you need to find forgiveness for both parties or all parties involved. It's magical. It, it will resurrect you. It will renew you. It will release you from this mental and I suspect emotional trap that you have yourself in. The reason you won't let yourself focus on anything else, the reason you can't take action on anything else and you are wallowing in something that you feel you are mourning and probably for too long um, is because some powerful part of you wants this to be addressed, wants you to find forgiveness for yourself even if you don't realize you need it, wants you to find forgiveness for someone else even if you don't think you can. Uh, some sense of it, right? And, and, it's, and it's likely for a lot of you that it, you need to find it for both sides of, of the argument, so to speak, right? This is what's helping you to self-actualize. This is what's helping you to realize your wisdom. Um, you will find that this is something that you want to do, that you want to release yourself from when you go within and you focus on that, when you take time for solitude, for solemn contemplation and meditation. Even though I don't see the Four of Swords with the Kermit card here, I get a very similar message. Um, that wisdom, that advice is within you already. You will find that that is the course you want to take, but you do have to quiet your mind and you do have to quiet your space long enough to listen to your own inner wisdom. And so, and, and so meditate in solitude without influences of, of, of others around you, at least for a significant period of time, right? And your reward is not only this self-actualization, realizing your own wisdom, becoming more of who you are, and being able to, to fearlessly share that uh, more directly with, with others in the world, but also you will find uh, that, that willpower to take the action that you're lacking now. This is, this is the, the more distant outcome where you're headed. Uh, conscious uh, manifestation, 
choosing to consciously manifest, choosing to uh, use your willpower to create, uh, realizing that you have all of the tools that you need already to, to manifest whatever it is that you want. And now you, and then you will need only to decide what that is, Pisces. Um, it's just a very, uh, very direct, clear cut message that you're lacking the ability to focus and take action here. And this journey is all about you realizing enough about yourself to take that action. Uh, so th this is really all about um, pushing, a pushing yourself a little too hard to take, to take action, um, to focus on something and, and make something happen. The, the advice is if it feels like you're unable to, to focus enough to take action on something, um, to stop trying right now. There's a reason why. It's because this issue of forgiveness needs addressed first. Uh, if you feel like you're being uh, pushed to retreat into meditation, well, we still have two weeks of uh, Mercury retrograde. Mercury is direct today, but we have the two week post shadow period where the energies could be just as intense. And Mercury retrograde often advises us all to retreat into meditation and that's what's happening. You're trying to push for that action. You're trying to push for that focus and everything in you and around you is telling you to retreat into meditation instead. And your reward is going to be realizing completely and fully who you are, who you want to be, and what tools you have in order to manifest what you want. And like I said, then you will be in a space of only needing to decide what that is. But this, this work of forgiveness needs done first. That is what will free you from in your, your mental traps, free you from your emotional traps. Um, because at this point... Um, you're trying so hard to, to focus and take action. And I'm not even sure that you truly believe that you have all of the tools that you need to manifest what you want yet, but you will realize that about yourself as well as your own inner wisdom. Um, when you go within and choose forgiveness here, Pisces. So the action is on its way. Um, wade through Mercury retrograde or, or now that we're done with that, the post shadow period of Mercury retrograde with, with this in mind, with forgiveness in mind, with, uh, the fact that we all need to retreat into meditation during Mercury retrograde sometimes in mind. Um, and, and, uh, not to be hard on you, but also with in mind that you have probably been in this period of mourning. Um, and in some sense, crying over spilt milk for a little too long. Now that's not to be harsh. Some of you are mourning things that are, were very dear to you. Um, I'm, I don't, I'm not trying to demean that at all, but it's relevant because you are staying in that space for too long. It's not productive. Um, and, it, and it is indicative of someone just holding themselves back. But I, 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 I think, um, likely your message is last. i pulled randomly for the order of these messages, likely your message is last because this very much is work that you have to do on your own. Um, now, if that resonated uh, and you do need a private reading, we can get more specific for sure. But this uh, addressing this forgiveness, no one can find that forgiveness for you. Um, you have to choose that forgiveness for yourself, forgiveness for any other parties involved in the situation. So um, again, it's very similar to Capricorn's message. If that's uh, another relevant energy for you in the situation or in your own chart, you may want to check out their message as well. And with that, Pisceans, I am going to leave it in your very capable hands. Uh, the manifestation, the willpower, the action, the creation is on its way. Um, I, I, but it might not be until after the post shadow period of Mercury retrograde. Um, and I'm really resisting saying that because I'm sensing a lot of you resisting accepting it. Um, your refusal to accept it will not change the fact that, that you need this, this meditation and forgiveness time first. So, um, I hope that the needed insight was able to reach you there, Pisceans. Uh, thank you again for all of your support. Private reading information is down below. Again, I hope that you all make wise choices for yourselves as you move forward. Choose this forgiveness. Choose this time of meditation for solemn contemplation. And I love you, Pisceans, truly. Uh, this is you 
coming into your own, becoming more of who you are, and it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. The moon card is probably my favorite card, and this is you. This is wise, uh, in tune, connected, almost all-knowing you, Pisces. Beautiful, beautiful, but yes, it, it takes work to get there, to, to actualize that self, to realize that self and to truly celebrate it. And I see you doing just that. Uh, again, I love you so much, Pisces, and I will post an August reading for you very soon. <laughs>